Muslim girl. Mm. They like money. They like money. We like money. You see the way they allergies every day they are suscating you. Mm -hmm. If you if you don't know how to suscate, if you are the way Christ just so we don't like you. Hey. Today we are on the streets of Sakomono and I'm here with this beautiful, as you can see, a Muslim lady. We've not really had Muslim ladies on this channel to know their views about relationship or dating. So today I've brought you one beautiful girl. Please, what's your name? Hamdiya Wumtiti Zakari. Hamdiya Wumtiti Zakari. We are going to delve into religion and what relationship, especially the Muslim side of things. Yeah, welcome to my channel. Thank you. And I hope today you are going to tell them a lot of things. You know when it comes to dating a Muslim girl. Yes. Yeah, so guys. What I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you know. Some of you want to date Muslim girls, but you don't know a lot of things. So relax and listen to this conversation. Hamdiya, let me ask you. When it comes to you, what's your definition of dating? Um, two people getting to know each other, go out without the sexual activities. Without the sexual activities? Like kissing, touching, and um, the sex itself. Yeah. Okay, so that means as a Muslim, if we are to date a Muslim girl, that thing is out. Yeah, it's out. Then you and me, we can't date too. <laughs> <laughs> we can't date too. Wow. So, as a Muslim girl, how do you cope with these things? Have you dated before? I have. And have you had an experience where the guy wanted to touch you or something? I mean, guys, yeah, that's what you do. I mean, that's what you try to do. <laughs> okay, so like if you have a guy in a relationship who likes touching stuff, sexual stuff, what do you go, what do you do about it? Stop them. Like, I mean, eh, stop them before it gets far. Okay, so let's see if um, he's not willing to stop and that's what he really wants. What are you going to do? Walk away. You're going to walk away? <laughs> Just because your religion says no touching. I don't want to dating. go to hell. <laughs> you don't want to go to hell? Yeah. <laughs> so if, if you don't want to like, you don't want him to touch and everything and you marry and later you see that he's not really good with that sin. Don't you think you've made a mistake? That one, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, it will be a big mistake, but... It will be a big mistake. Yeah, very big one. Okay, so let's move from that one. Let me ask you, first of all, are Muslim girls allowed to date? Because there are a lot of things I've heard that you guys, they are not allowed, you are not allowed to date. They just transition you into marriage. How true is that? No, you date. I mean, the whole point of dating is getting to know somebody. Okay. So you date and then it transitions. So as you are dating the person, you are getting to know if you and the person are compatible for each other. Okay. Yes. Okay, and how... So if mm -hmm. it's good, then, okay, now you talk about the next step, I mean, the transition part into marriage. If it's not, then just end things. Okay, so how long should it take from, like, dating to marriage? Because I heard with your people, it doesn't really, it shouldn't really take long. It doesn't take long, but I can't give you a, maybe, like, a year or two or... It depends on the individual too. It depends on the individual. Mm. So, if you are to date a guy or be with a guy, as a Muslim girl, what do you really look for in the guy? Let's see, sharp where the phrase where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, she's, she's already blushing, you know? I'm a French boy, you understand? So that one, it's not her fault, allow her. So let's see, sharp boy moves to you. What will you really look for in sharp boy? before you date me? From my view? Yeah, from your side of things, okay. your religion side of things. Um, first of is the appearance. Appearance, okay. Yeah. I qualify for that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Second is the smell. I hey. mean, you don't uh -huh. want to go and date somebody who doesn't smell good. Okay. It's okay. very bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did it too. <laughs> the smell. The smell. Height too, because I'm tall. Mm. We are almost the same height. Um, the, his relationship with God. Okay. I mean, you don't want somebody who doesn't pray to God and is nonchalant about religion. It's nonchalant about religion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, mm -hmm. and somebody that when you sit down to have meaningful conversations with, it's, mm -hmm. I mean, you can't actually have those kind of conversations. Not somebody that when you are trying to talk to him, then he's trying to brush it off or, oh, next time, or trying to 
um, brush up the whole conversation and situation. Mm. And also, um, so what about the religion side of things? Because we hear that you girls are not allowed to date, let's say, Christians. How true is that in your religion? Me, lately, mm -hmm. or recently, or mm -hmm. in the 21st century, okay. <laughs> and Muslim girls do date Christian boys. But in terms of marriage, a Muslim guy can't marry a Christian girl. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Because they about. believe that, oh, at a point in time, he's going to convert her or she'll convert. But a Muslim girl cannot marry a Christian guy unless the girl's family is it's cool with it. It's cool with it. Yeah. But why, why, why is it not possible? Are we not all humans? You believe in your religion, I believe in my religion. We can marry and everybody will go to their religion on the specific day. That so why? Thing, but then it's, mm. how, it's a big and broad topic because if you want to marry somebody, you have to like sit down and come mm -hmm. because coming from two different mm -hmm. religions, then you really have to sit down and discuss it. Because yeah. you, the individuals, might be like, okay, we are down for it. But here, like, case, extended family is going to come in. Come in. It's going to be a whole lot of issue. And then you are looking at the kids factor too. Mm -hmm. When you give birth, mm -hmm. are they going to become Christians or are they going to become Muslims? Mm -hmm. They will do flip the body challenge. <laughs> <laughs> if you flip and you don't flip, you go to Christian. If you flip and, uh, continue. So that one is all the it's religion from two different aspects. It's a lot to dive in. You have to sit down and make sure that everything is set. You two come to an agreement before you can decide, oh, okay. I'm a Christian, I'm marrying a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, I'm marrying a Christian. Okay, so you talked about um, the family comes in. Yeah. So with your family, would they allow you to date My a Christian? My mom says she doesn't mind. She says she doesn't mind. Yeah. But your dad, that's what the problem dad. is. Oh, you can sit him down and talk to him. So will you sit him down and talk to him? Yeah. Or you if are already... it comes that I'm getting married to a Christian guy, then sure why not mm -hmm. so you don't mind dating any religion i don't mind you don't mind wow 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 <laughs> wow this girl hmm it will get there then you tell her baby girl let's go see your parents my father doesn't want to see any christian in his house <laughs> what if your parents don't understand and he's the guy you love can you convert into a christian for the guy so that you guys can marry you go against your parents bro daddy mommy <laughs> I'm in love and I'm not gonna <laughs> listen to you. Can you convert to a Christian as a Muslim girl for love? Why can't he convert to become a Muslim? Maybe he, he has his own beliefs and he feels <laughs> like you should rather convert. No, I I don't think I can. You can't? No, I like being a Muslim. Wow. <laughs> so if you can't and you also can't, that then means the two can't has been casted. Bye bye. Bye bye. You sacrifice <laughs> your love because of. I can't go against my parents. I mean, they took care of me. Uh, but they are supposed to take care of you. They brought you to the world. So it's not like... Best life. Yes, they take care of you. But me, my parents, my mom especially, she mm -hmm. went to the extreme. Oh, oh thank you, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, nice, nice. So let's see now if you bring the guy home. Yeah. It's time for marriage and everything. What are your parents going to look at what are they going to ask the guy are there some things that the guy needs to know before they come to your parents house okay so i'm thinking this from i don't know about my dad's side because i've never asked him but okay. my mom i have i've had this conversation with him and first of all she she's going for the appearance because <laughs> she always tells us don't bring a guy with dreads, piercings, dreads. tattoo. Mm -hmm. If you're a guy and you have this, don't come to my house. <laughs> she'll, she won't suck you, but mm. she'll, she'll welcome you though. But when you go, she'll be like, nah, guy, guy ready, there, there, be, there, be, there, be. Yeah. Yes. And then after the uh, appearance part, she's looking at his relationship with God. Because my mom always says that you can't go for a guy who doesn't have a relationship with God that as a guy or as a man you must step in and intercede for your family wow 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 so if you can't do this then bye bye <laughs> and the Muslim party has to be a Muslim yeah. no I mean yes if it's a Muslim guy I'm bringing home then he has to be like a serious Muslim, Muslim. yeah if it's a Christian too she has to see some Nyamisum in you, you know? 
Okay. <laughs> okay, moving on. There's this I want to ask you. Since I was a child or since like I've, my eyes have been open, we've been hearing this that Muslim girls, their parents married them to big, big rich men. The Al-Hajis and the 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 the, 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 the Miss Malai Miss Malais and the, <laughs> those who go to Mecca and you understand. How yeah. how true is that? Before you get to the marriage age, have they already settled on your husband? And is it true they give you out to rich men to marry? Okay, so then I'm going back in the day and then carrying okay, you. Okay. So back in the day, it used to be like some sort of agreement thing. Okay. Whereby um, the parents be like, okay, I have a son, I have a daughter. We come together, you marry. Or I want to marry your daughter. I think some and most of the time the reason why some of these um parents marry them off to mm-hmm. um rich men because Charlie on him say Uber socket your money. As in there's no money, you give them money. Mm-hmm. Now I saw what socket your money, then why not? And you see back in the day they didn't you they didn't take girls' education seriously, so okay. just marry her off to a rich man rather than mm-hmm. wasting the money taking her to school. So currently at this point, mm-hmm. if you get a rich person, you won't marry. Me? If I get, oh, I'll marry, why not? <laughs> uh, so but I'll not just look at the riches, I'll look at different kind of yes, things. Yes, they look at, they consider um, other parts, but you also need to marry a man who can be able to take, take care, care of, of you, you and your family. But is he there to come and take care of you before you are taking care of yourselves, like you are helping each other? I mean, if you go and marry a girl who doesn't have anything, yeah, you are the one solely responsible. But wow. if you marry, a working woman, oh, like a career man. lady. Or oh, the allergies. Yes. And then, if you can take care of you, why not? But the notion that they always marry them off to rich people, it's 21st century, it's coming down. Like, it's coming down. But those nowadays, days, if you have your person and you want to marry him, fine. But his pockets must be okay. Like, okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, so, no. Okay. So that means people consider. Um, how wealthy it is before they give you out? They don't consider it's part of their considerations, but they they don't. It's not a, like a Entirely major factor. It. Like in today's times, it's not a major factor. Okay, so that means if I get you right, they used to marry you off to the big men because <coughs> they can take care of their girls. Yes, and not only the girls, the family too. And the family. I mean, I saw, oh, Jiwe Kaka. Okay. Yeah. So like how much? How much do you think? Have you witnessed some before they came to marry a Muslim girl? Yes, I haven't witnessed some. But I heard they bring I cow. Up in Accra. <laughs> I heard they bring cow, the salah cow. That one they used to come and knock keke. The cow <laughs> issue. <laughs> hey, tell us, tell us. There's so many things they bring when marrying a girl. It's not only a cow. The cow, if they bring it, maybe for the wedding, you need like form of protein for the celebration. That's why the cow is there. But they don't bring cow for you to kind of say, oh, and then I made the bell while you know. Like, wooden, toma, veil, other things come. Sally, marrying a Muslim is a whole cult on its own. You have to understand the system. <laughs> if you don't have money, don't come. If you don't have money, don't come. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay, and there's this thing, this is where the confusion sets in. What do you think, first of all, before I come to my main question, what do you think about cheating? It's a major ache for me. It's a major ache for you. So that means when you're dating a guy, you hate it if he's cheating on you with another girl or if he has another girl. If I find out that there's another girl mm-hmm. in the picture, oh. then that by You're yeah, out of the picture. Nice girl like me, if, I, if, I, if you're not okay with me, then... What's up? Just go away. <laughs> okay, so I ask you this because in your religion, polygamy is allowed. Yeah. You can marry more than one. So what if the guy marries you? He's a Muslim, he marries you. Then later he tells you that Hamdiya, Mr. Malai, say Mr. Malai too. <laughs> what does Mr. Malai mean? I don't even know. What does it mean? In the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. I've seen mm-hmm. this beautiful girl in um, 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 Konongu Zongo and I want to add her to you to marry another girl yeah. what are you going to do about it? he has married you and he's come to marry another okay, lady so with the whole polygamy thing you, if you want to bring in another wife you have to talk to your first wife I mean the current wife mm-hmm. to see if she's okay with okay. it 
I mean, some don't, but then some too, they sit there. They are, mm -hmm. they sit down mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and they talk to each other, come to an agreement. If the woman is okay, then. And also with the polygamy, if you have the money mm -hmm. and the resources, not just the money part, but then you know you have to provide for your wife and your family and sexually and financially, all those aspects. If you have it and it's okay, then why not? You can go and bring it. That's if your first wife is cool. What if she's not cool? Mm. You still can't do anything about it. My father married only my mother. So yeah, at my husband, you can't is... marry somebody else. So if he says he's still marrying the lady, what are you no. going to do? But you know, some people that they are not cool with it. I think me, mm -hmm. I always walk away. <laughs> you always walk away. <laughs> and is it allowed to um, divorce your husband in your religion? Not allowed Because in Christianity, to. it's like, so death do us apart. So it's wrong if you divorce. But in your religion. Divorce in its sense is wrong, but then personally, it's better to leave a situation than be in it and it be hurting. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you will leave if you marry more than. I'll one. leave, Shay. Hey. Then we'll sign your, 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 your leave. I'll allow you to sign your leave money for you. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's but very if you are leaving, you have to. So if let's say mm -hmm. the guy brought some money mm -hmm. to come and marry you, mm -hmm. you have to go. With your people, go and return the money. So what? So it's basically like uh, they are leaving the person, like divorce. But then, eh, so. So the exam money and everything he brought to marry you, you have to return the same. The money they here, the things you can keep them. But so the let's money say they he here. brought some big money, and you people, the time you are divorcing, you don't have that money. What are you going to do? Can you give your a small amount? Can chip in. And yes. talk if they understand. So they gather the money when you get to then you present it. But if your family can chip in and help you, then no problem. No problem. No problem. Say no problem. You understand? <laughs> the, 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 the convo is getting very interesting. Baby girl, there's... Hey, I shouldn't be saying baby girl. Maybe a largest girl is here now. I'm calling her baby girl. And it's a bag. And it's a bag. It's a bag. Okay, so let me ask you. Um, there's this one thing too that we've noticed about you girls. Muslim girls, no doubt, you girls are pretty. Ah, she's blushing. The girl is blushing, you know. Oh yeah, like on the most shows, you girls are pretty. But we don't see you expose some parts of your body to attract men. Like, see right now, you've covered your hair. The yeah, shadow you are wearing. It would be very nice if you show cleavage, but you say you know go show cleavage. <laughs> you say you won't show cleavage. You cover everything. Why do you do that? Okay, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. If you ask have um, two, um, let me say lollipop, and then lollipop, yeah. you've opened it uh -huh. and then they both you opened one mm -hmm. and then they both fell which one are you picking wow wow this is crazy man i'll pick the one that i've not <laughs> opened it yet. exactly like, but it's basically um what the religion says you are supposed to cover up but you know nowadays the orthodox muslims mm -hmm. they don't really go strict like the way the Ahmadis go mm -hmm. do you know the Ahmadis? The local they, ones. Yeah, they're strict. They're strict. Ones. Amadia. Yeah. Mm. They are very strict, like so you can't but the Orthodox Muslims they don't really mind. Like I mean, you can still dress and everything. But when it's time to do what you need to do as a Muslim, just make sure you do it. So you do fall in the Amadia or the Orthodox. It's like <laughs> Zongo and Estate. Where do you fall? Zongo and Estate, where do you fall? Wherever estate girl. Is it? Me, an estate girl. You're an estate girl, so you fall under the orthodox <laughs> Muslims. So that means yes. you, you can expose your hair and some parts of your body sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, tell us. Oh, if I'm going out, then why not? I mean, not expose, expose, but maybe my wear a dress and it might not be like the long one that I normally wear, like, oh, yes. So if your Muslim people are watching right now, do you think they'll be happy with you? <laughs> Claiming you're an orthodox Muslim where you can show some things. Oh, but you feel like we've advanced, so the world should advance. <laughs> 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 I'm finding trouble for you. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, talk to me. It's a conversation. Viewers, I... let me know what you think in the comment section so far. Whatever we've discussed, let me know in the comment section. Any contribution, anything you want to remove, add subtract anything you wanna let me know let me know in the comment section don't forget to like this video baby girl i'm listening with the whole <laughs>
I tell me about who. <laughs> Are you allowed to you have a boyfriend? You come and let them attack me. Am I allowed to have a boyfriend? To have a boyfriend? Yes, I am. So do you have a boyfriend? No. You have a boyfriend? No. But you have exes? Yes. How many exes do you have? Two. Two? Me and two. Me and two? <laughs> Why did you break up with them? The first and second one? <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, the first one left Ghana. Oh, okay. So you can't do long distance? Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. And then the second one, it wasn't working. It was, let me see, I say it was a mutual agreement, Charlie. That mutual agreement you probably <laughs> say, it starts from somewhere before the agreement will come. So tell us what really happened. You can summarize it. At the back, it wasn't working. Let me just it say it like working. that. Shark Boy lies going into deep into the life of people. So baby girl, I think these are the questions I wanted to know and I wanted to ask you. But before you go, what do you have to tell viewers watching when it comes to dating a Muslim girl? Summarizing everything. Muslim girl, mm. they like money. They like money. We like money. Okay, we like money. <laughs> <laughs> Let me add myself. Okay. What else? I mean, you are supposed to show some form of care okay. and don't do yourself stiff like that or nonchalant. We don't like you. Come and show us that you care. And you see the way the allergies every day they are suscating you. If you if you don't know how to suscet, if you are the way Christ just so we don't like you. Hey. Like bye bye. <laughs> wow. wow. I'm sure some people are laughing. Some people vex. Some people are giving some faces. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Maybe your, your social media, where can people find you? Instagram, Snapchat. Okay, so Instagram is at Hamdia Wuntiti. Then Snapchat is at Titi, T I T I dot M six E's. Yes. Okay, so guys can DM me, right? Don't come and say hi, I beg. So what should they say? If you're a nice person, we can start an actual or nice conversation, then I don't mind. But if you come with hi, hi, or if you add me and you send me streaks, I'll just block you. Me, I'm always blocking people. <laughs> it's only estate Muslim girls who block you. <laughs> the, the Ahmadiyya people, they, 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 they ask you strict questions, you understand? <laughs> so, yo, thank you for coming and we really appreciate Those people don't even mind you. They don't, don't even mind you. like social media like hey. that. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, girl, thank you very much. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and comment. The most entertaining and popular channel in Ghana right now. If you don't understand, go and sit somewhere. Go and sit somewhere. Tell them, what? Sit somewhere. Sit somewhere. I will see you in the next video. Say bye. Bye. bye.